Greetings everyone in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are very grateful today to be alive on this day of the 12th of April 2020. Today we are celebrating the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. We remember that everything that is in the world started and is aligned to the Lord Jesus Christ as it was prophesied in the book of Isaiah that the government will be upon his shoulder. When he rose again, the calendars of the world were changed. Everything started after the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything was changed after the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you see the calendars of the world, they are the same. No matter what nation, what uh, culture or tradition they belong to, the calendars of the world are now the same because of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. 20, 000, 2020 years ago, 2020 years ago, Jesus Christ rose again. And therefore, everything is said AD, after the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is how the world is. Everything is according to the Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I welcome you today to this um, live broadcast as you are seated at home. We are having a good time because we are locked down all in our homes. We are locked down to have time to read and study the Word of God. We, have, we are locked down to praise and worship Him with no limit at a time. There is no limited time to worship and praise Him. We are locked down to connect as husbands and wives and children and as families to tell even the stories that we never told our relatives and loved ones because of the advantage of the lockdown. I would like us to pray as we are starting the message today. Heavenly Father, we come before the throne of grace right now. We give you honor, we give you glory because we have got no other king and no other Lord except you. We come today and submitting ourselves to you, celebrating once again the rising of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are declaring today that Jesus Christ rose again. He died and rose again. He is risen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We pray that you touch all nations as we are faced by the vicious attack of the COVID-19 <clears throat> coronavirus, that, Lord, your power will be manifest. We see, Lord, many are being healed. Many are recovering in all nations. Heavenly Father, those who have lost their loved ones, we pray for healing, we pray for peace, we pray for the entrance of your kingdom in their families. We give you glory, Father, and we present this message, this sermon to you, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. During this time, as we are presenting this sermon throughout the world, the governments of the world, the leaders, religious leaders, political leaders, in business, everywhere, the focus is on eradicating and stopping the coronavirus from destroy, destroying people in all countries. So as we are uh, on lockdown in many of the countries of the world, I would encourage us to continue to observe the protocols of the lockdown and also the regulations of the World Health Organization and the Department of Health in our different countries. Also, stay at home. As you are staying at home, there are tips that you are being given, like drink uh, warm water, drink hot water, warm water uh, all the time, and other things that are being encouraged for us to do. The title of the message today says, Jesus Christ died and rose again. He is risen. Jesus Christ is risen. What does it mean for us as Christians, as the body of Christ, 
when we say he rose from the dead? What does it mean to us? I would like us to read uh, scriptures from the Word of God. Scriptures from the Word of God. Um, just three uh, scriptures. One from Matthew 20, uh, 17 to 19. The Word of God is read as follows. Now Jesus, going up to Jerusalem, took twelve disciples aside on the road and said to them, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be betrayed to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and to, to scourge and crucify. And the third day he will rise again. If you make note of that one, the third day he will rise again. This is Jesus speaking to his disciples. Our second scripture uh, is Mark uh, 16 verse 5. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe, sitting on the right side. And they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before, into, before you into Galilee. There you will see him as he said to you. Hallelujah. We give glory to Jesus. Luke 24 verse 6 to 7. He is not here. He is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was in Galilee, saying, the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for your word. We give you glory because life came into us because of your word. We worship you, Father, once again. We glorify you in Jesus' name. Our focus for the message today, therefore, uh, is... Uh, some few uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, topics here. The first one is the mission of salvation was accomplished. When Jesus Christ rose from the dead, the mission of salvation was accomplished. We are celebrating victory over sin. When he rose again, it meant that as children of God, as the body of Christ, we are victorious. We are conquerors over sin. We have authority in the name of Jesus as human beings, as those who are his followers, his children, sons and daughters, we have authority. But this authority is not given to us by our families, relatives, the government. It is given by Jesus Christ, the authority that comes directly from him, the Lord Jesus Christ. The witness for Christ because of resurrection. We became witnesses of Jesus Christ because of resurrection. We had power to share our testimonies which are not disputed. When you share a testimony to somebody else, that testimony is undisputed because it's God's work. We got supernatural power because of the resurrection. The supernatural power for us to perform miracles as we have done, as we have seen in the past that God has performed miracles one of the greatest miracles is when we preach the word of God and make the altar call. People come and receive Jesus. That is the greatest miracle. miracle. And other greatest miracles of healing, salvation, and many other types of miracles, it's because of that authority and power that he has given us. When we say mission accomplished, I would like you to make note of the scripture, Matthew 28, verse 5 to 6. Just note that scripture down. And later on, you will read. Mission accomplished because he fulfilled all what he said he would do. All what he said he would do, it was fulfilled. He said to, the, to his disciples, on the third day, he will rise again. <clears throat> to the chief priests, everywhere he was going, 
he was saying he will rise again. It was fulfilled. The mission of salvation was accomplished because he died and rose again just for us to be saved. He came for us to be saved, to find salvation. Mission was accomplished when he rose again. Again, we are saying the birth of the church was as a result of resurrection. When he rose again, the church which is not made of hands was born. The word of God confirms and says we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. If you accept Jesus Christ as a born again child of God, you are baptized, you receive the power of the Holy Spirit in your life. Now, the word of God says you are the temple, your body is now the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, because of resurrection, we are the church, you are the church which never closes. Even if we are locked down at homes, even if the church buildings are locked now, we are not allowed to go to church buildings. The church is open because you are the church. You have got the word of God in your life. You are able to read the word of God and it gets into your life. You are able to praise him. You are able to worship him. You are able to glorify him. You are able to minister to other people through the social network, through your cell phone. You are able to minister to other people because you are the church. The power of God is stored in your life. You are the carrier of the anointing. This is why you are the church which is not made of hands. He rose from the dead and ascended to heaven to complete the work of salvation. Our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. The systems and times of the world change when Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Everything is according to uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Everything in the world is 80, 80, whatever country, whatever nationality, the days are the same, the calendar is the same, the times, um, there's 24 hours of, of the day in every country, in every nation. Things are according to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is confirmed, therefore, that the government will be upon his shoulder. It was confirmed, prof prophesied by the prophet Isaiah that the government will be upon his shoulder. Again, we are celebrating victory because of resurrection. We are celebrating victory over sin. First Corinthians, Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse seventeen. If you can note that scripture and read it for yourself, and Romans eight, verse eleven to twelve. Second Corinthians five, uh, seventeen says, "If any man is in Christ, is a new creation. The old is gone; the new has come." It could not happen during the time of the Old Testament. You had to make a sacrifice once every year. You have to take the blood of animals to go and make a sacrifice. You have to do burnt offerings in order to find your sins forgiven. But now, it is very simple. In your home, next to your bed, next to your table, uh, <clears throat> you just kneel down and accept Jesus Christ. He comes into your life. You ask for forgiveness. You turn away from your, from your old ways. You walk in new ways according to his word. And then you receive forgiveness. Uh, it is that simple because of resurrection. Death was defeated when Jesus Christ rose from the dead. Death was defeated. Therefore, now, there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation. We are not afraid of death. We are not afraid of death. We know that when we pass from this world, we are going back home. When we are home, we will be there eternally, forever, where there's no disease, where there's no pain, where there's no suffering, where there's no poverty, where there's no lack. Therefore, uh, we are celebrating our victory. Amen. We celebrate the goodness of the Lord in our lives. We see the goodness of the Lord on a daily basis. We see the goodness of the Lord. It is because of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. New life we received through Jesus Christ as a risen Savior and as a risen King. Victory over sin and darkness is because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We celebrate a peace which has filled our lives. Peace which is in abundance. Hallelujah. Let's clap hands for Jesus because he is able 
to give us that peace which passes all understanding. Also, uh, he has given us authority because of resurrection. He has given us authority. Uh, Mark uh, 16, verse 15 to 18. <clears throat> Just read that scripture for yourself. Just write it down. Luke 10, 19. It confirms that we have got authority <clears throat> over all the power of the enemy. He gave us authority as believers. All of us as believers, we have authority. As we have accepted him as the Lord and Savior, we have authority as believers. Jesus said all authority has been given to him. He gives us authority over all the power of the enemy. He made us children of God. He made us sons and daughters of God, of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We should not have fear of anything because Jesus Christ is alive. We must not be afraid of the coronavirus um, in the name of Jesus. Let's command the spirit not to get into our homes. Command the spirit not to get into your life, not to get into our communities, to get out of our nation, all the nations, that this cycle must come to an end. He gave us authority to make disciples and baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. People get saved through us because he gave us authority. Hallelujah. He made us witnesses. He made us witnesses. Hallelujah. The authority that he gave us, uh, he gave us authority to heal the sick and raise the dead. Hallelujah. He gave us the mandate to be witnesses for the kingdom of God, to be representatives of the kingdom of God, to be the ambassadors of the kingdom of God. What a great honor. What a great privilege to represent the holiness of God, to represent the holy place, to represent the place where sin does not go in, to represent the place where darkness does not come in. It's an honor and greatest privilege to represent God himself, to be an ambassador of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ has given us the mandate uh, to set the captives free. He has, we have been given favor to bring peace to broken-hearted people. To those who are broken-hearted, he has given us the mandate to, uh, to bring peace to the broken-hearted. He made us the light of the world. Whenever we are, we are the salt, we are the light to the world because of resurrection. He has set us out to help human beings in the whole world to receive forgiveness of sins free of charge free of charge. Once a person says, I accept Jesus as my savior, free of charge, sins are forgiven and are deleted, no matter how many or big they were. We serve the living Christ who is seated and interceding for us at the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. What an honor, what a privilege for the King of Kings to be interceding for us, to be praying for us, the King of Kings, himself he is praying for us hallelujah and also we see that because of resurrection we now have power we have power in the name of jesus sitting down at home you just pray for a person who is far away even for a person who is overseas the person gets healed as you pray for that person that is power as you are no matter how young you are in terms of age no matter how advanced your years are, in the name of Jesus, this power is the same. The power of the grace of God enables us to heal the sick and raise the dead. Matthew 10, 18, that is the mandate that he has given us. Resurrection power brings healing and deliverance to those who are bound by a variety of strongholds. Romans 8, verse 11. You can read that scripture. No matter how big the strongholds um, are, no matter what they have made, they have done of you, no matter whether uh, everything, they, they have taken the mind and everything, um, you, you, you became somebody who was lost, but when the power of God comes upon your life, total freedom comes, total redemption comes, Complete deliverance comes. New life, new day comes. 
because of resurrection. Hallelujah. We give him praise. Just clap hands for Jesus. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask because of the resurrection power. Power to receive breakthrough in praise, prayer, and worship. As we pray, as we worship, as we praise Him, we receive breakthroughs, unspeakable breakthroughs because of the resurrection power. Power to receive revelation and understanding of the Word of God. The greatest thing that you can ever have in the world is to connect to the Word of God positively is to have revelation of the word of God. As you read your Bible, you get a revelation. That is the greatest and biggest thing that you can ever have because it connects you to the Heavenly Father. It makes you to connect to the anointing of the Heavenly Father and the, the, the wisdom of God. Everything of God comes into your life when you get the revelation of the word of God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ rose from the dead to receive power when we come uh, upon, when, when it comes upon us, when the power came upon us, uh, Acts chapter 1 verse uh, 8, he promised that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you become my witnesses. Hallelujah. Even, when, even if you've never spoken in tongues, when the power comes upon you, he connects you, he gives you, gives you the heavenly language. He gives you the heavenly language. You are able, in the name of Jesus, to speak in tongues, you speak a language from heaven because of the power that he gives upon us. You can also read Acts chapter 4 verse 33. Just know that scripture and you can read it at, at, at your own time. He has empowered us with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The gifts of the Holy Spirit to serve him. You are serving him as, a, as, a, as an evangelist. The gifts of helps. The gifts of being a teacher of the word. Uh, you are an intercessor. You are a prayer warrior because God has given you that gift to minister. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 1 to 31, you can read uh, that chapter and find out about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. If you do not know what your gift is, just pray to Him. If you have not been baptized by the power of the Holy Spirit, it is very easy. Uh, just have, you must be thirsty. You must be thirsty for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Believe that Jesus can baptize you. And just go on your knees, lift up your hands, and ask Jesus to baptize you with the power of the Holy Spirit. Ask Jesus to baptize you, to fill you with the power of the Holy Spirit. The power of the grace of God working in our lives. The power of preaching the gospel uh, from the power of the Holy Spirit. He made us to defeat, overcome, and conquer the devil. Revelation 12 uh, verse 11. We defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Hallelujah. The power of breakthrough in prayer. You know, when you are praying and you feel that you are not breaking through, you are praying, you feel that you are not breaking through. But when the power of the Holy Spirit comes, comes you feel that breakthrough. You feel that some curtains are being opened, some doors are being opened. That is the power that God gives to us. Hallelujah. We give you praise. As we are coming to the close of this message, I would like us to make some declarations at this time. I would like us to make some declarations at this time. Uh, just follow after me and say, Death could not hold Jesus Christ. It cannot hold me anymore. Jesus Christ is risen. I am victorious. Over coronavirus, I have victory. Because of resurrection, evil does not win. In the name of Jesus. My heart is filled with peace and joy. I am alive in Christ because he rose again. Our daily living is filled with faith and hope. Fear has got no place in my heart. 
I am free from sin. Guilt, condemnation, and shame in the name of Jesus. We have authority over all the power of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's clap hands for Jesus. <clears throat> he is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask. Now it is the time for us uh, to share communion at this time. It's time for us to share communion at this time as we are all uh, praying. Remember, as we are going through the message, you are now the church. Even by yourself, you can have communion. And with your family, you can have communion. Hallelujah. You can have communion even by yourself. As we come before the throne of grace, we remember that the Lord Jesus Christ, the night when he was going to be, uh, when he was having the last supper with the disciples, he took the bread. And after you uh, examine yourself, you just come before God before you take this bread and examine yourself and speak to God. If there are those areas in your life where you feel you must make right with him, make right, confess that thing, uh, accept his forgiveness and thank him for forgiving you. And he broke the bread uh, after having prayed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I remember at this time was that you, your, your body was bruised for us, for our sins. Your body took all the sins of the world, even coronavirus, even if that name was not there at that time. You took it upon your body so that when it comes, it does not touch us because we are covered by the blood of Jesus. As we take this, this body, Father, we remember that you were bruised for us. Thank you, Father. We receive healing. We pray for healing throughout the world, Heavenly Father, that healing will come even those who have lost their loved ones, Father, healing will come because your body was bruised for us. We thank you and give you praise. After he prayed and they took the bread, they took the wine. With is uh, <clears throat> the Jews representing the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of, as they was hanging on the cross, they pierced his side with the spear. Water and blood came out to wash the sins of the world. We take this to remember that his blood washed our sins. His blood is still fresh and alive even today. The blood of Jesus Christ will be alive forever and ever. We take and remember. Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord, we thank you and we receive your power through resurrection in Jesus' name. Amen. As we are coming to the end, we are saying now, you may be listening to this broadcast at this moment and you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. It does not matter whether you think that you have not done any sin, you need a savior. Whether you think that your sins are too big and too many, they cannot be forgiven, you need a savior. Whether you have backslidden many times and think that there is no more chance for you, you need a savior. His arms are open, ready to receive you. Whether you are not sure which direction you are going, Please pray this prayer after me and receive Jesus as your personal Savior. Just pray and say, Heavenly Father, I believe that you can save me and make me your child. I understand that I'm a sinner. I receive Jesus as my Savior. I decide now to accept Jesus to come into my heart. Lord Jesus Christ, come into my life. 
Forgive me all my sins. Wash me clean with your precious blood. Thank you, Father. I have received Jesus today. Thank you, Father. I am saved. I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, as we have come to the end of our service now, I'd like us to pray and thank God. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you praise uh, for this time together that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask. We thank you, Father, for the resurrection and the plan of salvation and the accomplishment of your plan through us. Even during this time, Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Father, I release your power, I release your word. Psalm 107 verse 20. I release your word, Father, to all the nations, to those who are sick, Father, infected by the coronavirus, to be healed in the name of Jesus, Father, to be healed and that the cycle of the coronavirus will come to an end because all of us, your children, are calling you. We have no other solution except you. Father, we thank you, give you praise. We celebrate the resurrection in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I would like us to pray uh, to remember that we have got prayers uh, Monday, Mondays uh, to Fridays at 1 p.m., 13 hours. We have got prayers on Facebook. Uh, some of the people uh, who are fellowshipping at Downtown Christian Center and others, uh, even if you are not a member of Downtown Christian Center, uh, where there are prayers Mondays uh, to Fridays, uh, prayer meetings 1 p.m., 13 hours. We have got the social network, which is called Zoom. Uh, you connect to that one, you connect through Facebook, and also WhatsApp as well. So that every day, Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday we pray at 1 o'clock so that we connect as children of God and activate the power of God to take over in every nation. All glory to Jesus. Amen.